We've been in the Phoenix area for the last couple days now and we've kind of been laying low, recovering a little bit after being at the Bloom Fiesta and camping with friends for a couple days and just recovering, doing some schoolwork and some work. But today we are out exploring the desert botanical gardens, taking a look at all the different cacti and the different vegetation that grows here in the desert. But they also have a butterfly house, which is probably the main reason that we're here today. So we're hoping that's gonna be pretty fun. And the girls, of course, they always love butterflies. I think you have a butterfly on your foot. I do. <laughs> you do. That is special, huh? On her foot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the surprise. Most times butterflies land on the colorful spots <laughs> on your clothing. And this one like the black shoes. Yeah. That is a monarch butterfly. There are more of them. And oh, it's a monarch. male monarch. The monarchs oh, can be told. You can tell whether it's a girl or boy by the, some of the dots on it. Inside the butterfly pavilion, they say there are about 3,000 butterflies in here. Yeah. It's steamy in here right now. <laughs> they got the mist going. <laughs> it's like a sauna or a spa. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's refreshing. But it's really great just to see the variety of the butterflies. Usually you see uh, you know, maybe one or two different butterflies uh, out in the wild, but they have over 10 to 15 different varieties in here. And they also have the chrysalis and the caterpillars, which you can see that are uh, in the different stages right before they become butterflies. So it's kind of nice to see that as well. What's your favorite butterfly here? Um, the monarch kind. You like the monarch? And the queen kind. A monarch one landed on my shoe. Yeah, that was really cool. You like uh -huh. this black one too? Uh-huh. Are we supposed to touch the butterflies? No. He likes you. <laughs> What's his name? George. Mm -hmm. Likes my shirt. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Are you a hungry, hungry caterpillar? What kind of face is that? I found my favorite flowers here and they're called Lego flowers. Are they really called Lego flowers? No. But these look like the little flowers that you build with Legos. <laughs> Should we take some home? No. No, we, we gotta leave them, leave them here. here. And normally those plants are not blooming, but because we got four inches of rain this past month, which is just crazy, Everything in the desert is blooming. It's totally confused. I think they should have more water features here. It's so hot. You gonna go swim in this? No, it's so tiny. It looks like a lady with poofy hair, like an afro, and she looks like this. Ooh. How about her arms? And she has three arms. Ooh. Come in. Am I allowed into your hut? First, 
What's the password? Banana hut. Nope. Banana butt? Nope. Okay, I don't know. Banana bumps! Banana bumps. You think this is cool from the sun? You're gonna bonk into the ceiling. The verdict on the Desert Botanical Garden is, I would say, thumbs up. Yeah, it's good. A lot to do, a lot of different trails and short little loops. I had no idea so much could grow in the desert, so I yeah. definitely learned a lot. And if you didn't know, there are a lot of variety of different cacti that are here. So Pretty cool. The butterflies were amazing. Uh, the only downside to this place, I would say, is the price. It is $24 for adults, half that for kids. If they're under three, they're free, which is nice, but mm -hmm. still kind of expensive. So if you can stomach spending about $75 for a family, you should it's, definitely stop by. It's good. The tip would be come, they open at eight in the morning, so I would say come early in the morning while it's still cooler. It was pretty nice when we first arrived, but now yeah, that 10 we've, hit, we've hit noon, it's getting, noon, now one, it's getting and it's steamy. blistering hot, <laughs> and, and this is the middle of November, so. Yeah, or in summer, October. We're, what month we're, is it? It's still October. October. Not November. The main reason we came to the Phoenix area was actually to hang out a little bit with family. Uh, my mom's brother lives here with his wife, and then my mom's cousin was here as well, so we spent some time with them. But the campground we're staying at, which was close to my uncle's house, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. We are at White Tank Mountain Regional Park and we're right here up against the mountains. It is a little far removed from Phoenix itself. It's a little bit of a drive to get into shopping and all of that stuff, but it is gorgeous. The spaces are big. Um, the big saguaro cactuses are all around. It's awesome. $35 a night? Yep, so water and electric for that. And then at the entrance, there is a library and um, nature center. So we, the girls and I spent some time in the library. We need to get back to the nature center and check that out. Yeah, they're supposed, to, they're supposed to have ranger programs there for the kids as well. They're supposed to this afternoon have one about the wildlife that's here in the regional park. But right now we are out exploring on one of the dozen or so trails that go up to the mountains. We're not sure. There's mosquito on you. Killing bugs on the camera. Not sure how long this hike's going to be. We're going to go until we're tired, until the girls start complaining. Until we're halfway tired, because then we got to go back. Are you going to be tired already? I you have a bug on me. No. So hiking time. While we're in the desert here, you might see that there's actually a lot of grass here behind me and pretty much everywhere here. The reason for that is in this month, we're still in October, they've already had about five inches of rain, which is dramatically more than what they usually have and probably about half of what they have throughout the entire year. So the desert is in full bloom when we went to the botanical gardens the other day. Uh, all the flowers there were in bloom as well because of the rain. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see the desert being a little bit green, which is a good change because we've been in the dry desert for a long time. We've been seeing a lot of browns and oranges and reds with all the different types of dirts, but it's nice to see some green coverage as well. I think there was a wild animal here. It's because there was horse tracks. Horse tracks aren't wild. They even have horseshoe prints. Do you think those horses put on those shoes by themselves? No, they can't. Mm -hmm. They have to have them like glued on to their feet. It's kind of hard for a horse to do that by themselves. Which way are we going? This way! <laughs>
life I have waited to see giant cacti. I have learned this week that they are saguaro cactuses and they grow 40 to 60 feet and they're usually around 100 to 200 years old. An inch and a half is usually about 10 years of growth. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm super excited to be surrounded by them. They're in our sight. They're all around. I finally got my dream to come true. I saw giant cacti. And if you didn't know, some cacti can be played as instruments. I like how the plants here, so there's sense cacti obviously, but most of the plants that have green leaves have just little itty bitty baby leaves and they're so cute. Look at them. They're like a fairy What's your favorite thing about the desert? The cacti. They're really, really cool. And um, in Italy, I used to have a cactus, could be 10, 20 years old. It's about this tall, and it was kind of like That was probably only those. a couple years old. What? Yeah. What? They were kind of, I think it was a saguaro cactus. It might not have been, but it was kind of a little darker green. This is the way. Unless you guys want to hike another five miles. No. It's always funny how Lana gets tired really quick, huh? Yeah, super fast. But now that we're heading back, she has energy again. Because she wants to get back, of course. We got about three minutes left to the campground. Are you gonna make it? I think so. But you found a nice smooth rock to sit on in the shade? Yeah, I feel it. It's so cold. I don't think people on the video can feel it. Uh, I think you can. Reach out through the screen and feel the rock. <sighs> we made it back from the hike and it wasn't too long, about a mile, mile and a half. Uh, the nice thing is there are a lot of hikes that go up into the mountains themselves. I might actually do that one of these mornings and take my drone up there and fly it since I can actually fly my drone around here. But to give you an idea of what our campsite looks like, we have a large area in the back here with our table, fire pit, and a grill. We have a couple saguaro cactuses right here. Flip around, a couple more here in the back. Uh, so the campsites are actually pretty nice. They're nice and big, uh, pretty flat. Ours is, the front end is a little bit uh, not level on our trailer, uh, simply because we're so long, but if you have a shorter trailer, uh, you'd be a little bit more level than us, but that's gonna do it for our hike today We do have a couple more days here in the Phoenix area. Not sure what we're gonna be doing might go to the pool this afternoon or There's actually a state fair in town that's open up through this weekend So we might do that, but not sure yet. We're gonna play it by ear a little bit Well, that's gonna do it for our time in Arizona. We're gonna miss this campground. It was pretty sweet yeah, so right now we're emptying our tanks and we actually got a clog First in our one. black tank. First one in nine months. That's pretty good. Not yeah. too bad. Able to work it out and <laughs> made a little bit of a mess, but... That's the way it goes sometimes, but we haven't cleaned out our tanks in a while. Really thoroughly for a while, yeah. Yeah, because so... we were boondocking during the Bloom Fiesta and didn't have didn't have sewer hookup here for eight days, so yeah. it's we've gone... It's time to give it a good wash. Yeah, so tip for everybody if you're not using or flushing your tank on a daily basis or every other day for a while clean it out every so often it might help so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as well and we hope to see you on the road